Welcome back to this little work table and as you can see there's nothing really on it and what I want to do is to put some small audio gear on here and use a mixer just to have a bit of a muck about on this table but you see I've got a bit of a problem you see to get the different audio gear into the computer I'd need to use a mixer to combine them together and something like this PV mixing desk um, could hardly fit in the room and while it is much smaller than the PV this other one is still basically the whole size of the table so I'll have to come up with something else of an idea this piece of board here comes from an old sound card a PCI sound card from a well Windows 98 era computer um, it stopped working I was going to use it for DOS games but it stopped working, I tried cleaning it up and whatnot, and I don't know what happened to it. So, this is where I've snapped off it, and I'm going to use. So hopefully the 3.5mm plugs can go in, up to four devices, and then there, that one that looks different anyway, will be the output. And it's going to be very, very simple. Just 10k or so resistors, uh, 10k on each one of these lines in, and the ground will all be shared. And hopefully they'll sum. And the volumes I'll be doing on the devices that I'll be attaching. Okay, well moving right on ahead, I've got the various connections to this Roland TR505 drum machine. And I was just starting to try the different connections out. Obviously I've not cleaned any of this up and straightened it up or anything. I just thought, can I get the connections? And I've got one wire going there. Here is the output wire on the right hand side and I'm supposed to be connecting you know four different devices has been the idea once I get one I can just copy it across and I'll be using a 10k resistor but well, look at that there's just one wire so presumably the grounds are all connected on this in any case on this board what's left of it and there's the audio <laughs> I was just surprised okay well I'll replace that little wire there with a 10k resistor and then move along and do the same with the others and then I'll plug in a couple of other devices and check that it mixes them. Much easier than I thought. Well, so far. Right, what I've decided to do is to connect each at the same points, run all of those legs up to the top and connect down to that single point there for the output. Ha! Huh, this should be very easy. OK, so that's those four resistors on. Now let's check that it still works. Yep. <laughs> Alright, now, major test. I'll put something else with it and see if we get sound as well. And then that makes it a mixer. Alright, so now I've got the TR505 plugged in and the Behringer JT4000 Micro. So, start the drum machine. <laughs> and press a few keys and yeah <laughs> it's doing the mixer thing <laughs> and of course all of this should be done with a bottle of Shiner Oktoberfest in December And finally I've cleaned it up with some sandpaper, I've got everything levelled off at the top, nice and smooth, slightly rounded edges, just to complete the look of the thing. And there we are, just on the back, the four 10k resistors. That is a great project and should prove to be very useful indeed. Well, hope you enjoyed that, do let me know if you make your own, and thanks very much for watching.